Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well. Thank you for coming back to the channel. If you have never been to the channel and you are just checking out this video or my channel in general, thank you, I appreciate that. So today guys, I'm going to show you this cool little tool called Crystal Disk Info. And what Crystal Disk Info is, it's a free piece of software and it basically gives you information about the health and performance of your computer's hard drive or your solid state state drive, your SSD, uh, because there is a difference between hard drive and solid state. Um, although they kind of both do the same thing, um, it, it basic definition, just holding your data for you. Um, and it obviously goes into it deeper than that, but uh, that's basically what they do. So this piece of software can do many things. It can display like details such as the temperature on hard drives, uh, the power on time. I'll, I'll show you guys everything it does once we get into there um, uh, in, and launch the, the software. One thing that I like about it, it can also like send you an email if it uh, detects any potential errors or high temperatures or something like that. So anyway, so basically, yeah, all it does is it uh, helps you monitor the health of uh, your storage devices and uh, avoid any loss because if you can see a problem on the rise you can get it taken care of so let's start by downloading this now i've already downloaded this and i have this installed in my system because i'm always working with various drives and stuff so i have chosen to get the the install version which is you know just the installer and yes i know it says vista but it, it's fine it's not just for vista trust me uh they have different editions here like this is standard this is what we're going to go for uh, they've also got some with anime on them if you're into that hey have at it um, but we're just going to get the standard edition they do have that portable version which i would recommend for most of you if you're just wanting to check something real quick um, that's the zip here uh, but i grabbed the installer and um, i'll put this link down in the description below so I'm just going to minimize this and I've already uh, installed this. I've had this installed and I've just placed the icon here just for uh, ease of use for this video. So let's go ahead and launch that. Now, once you launch this, you see this interface that might make people, some people think, oh my goodness, what is this? What have I gotten myself into? But it's pretty easy actually. So right off the bat without going into any of these uh these menu items up here the easy part of this is you can see all of your drives in your computer listed here to me this is backwards because it should be alphabetical but maybe that's just my ocd um, but see your c drive is usually most of the time your operating system drive and for me i have these two backup drives so let's just start with the c drive so if you click on your C drive, this will give you a lot of information about your drive. As you can see, it gives you the firmware version you're on, serial number, um, what type of interface it is. Uh, this here, transfer mode is pretty cool. Also, if you notice you, you hover over any of these boxes, it uh, gives you, well, it should, okay, not all of them, but it gives you kind of an explanation on what that box is um, so again it, it gives you what interface transfer mode this is pretty cool because this shows you this first part shows you what current mode is as you can see by that little balloon pop-up so it is in a PCIe 3.0 x4 slot and that what it is supported under that's the supported mode so you can detect potential problems with this because like if you had this in a slower slot than what is supported you could be losing some performance there so it will tell you that information it tells you what the drive letter is which you know that from here um, it tells you the standard and it tells you the features of the drive now this is what i like over here um, with ssds as most of you probably know um, they work different than hard drives um, in the fact that they're kind of limited on how many writes that go to a solid state. Now, don't freak out, guys. It doesn't mean that, you know, all of a sudden, a couple months after you have a solid state, your drive's going to be 
read only. I mean, I've had this for quite a while. Maybe, you know, let's take a look. Actually, we can get to that. But I've had this quite a while. And it's not dying yet. We're still good at 100%. And I have this many rights. So, I mean... It's a limited amount of rights, but it's going to take quite a while to get there unless you're just some kind of maniac madman that is just writing so much data to the drive for 8 to 10 hours a day. You know, everyday normal use is not going to push it to its limits. But then again, that is what Crystal Disk Info is for. It actually helps you keep track and keep an eye on this stuff. So... Um, anyway, so we went through this kind of stuff. It shows you this different stuff here. Um, the total host reads is listed here, and here's where your rights are. That's how many rights that it has to it. Um, rotation rate, it's just given a solid state because there's no rotating disk in there. This is cool because it tells you how many times this disk has been powered on. So how many times it's been... Uh, you're, you've hit the power button since installing this. But of course, that could also count like, you know, if you had it in like a uh, external reader or, you know, another computer, it actually counts how many times you've had it on. And power on hours gives you the hours that it has been powered on altogether. And if you hover over, it will actually tell you that in years, days, and hours. So it looks like, I bought this drive new, so it looks like uh, it's been powered on about one year, 214 days, five hours, which would make sense. I very rarely shut my computers down. Um, and so that's probably pretty accurate, about a year and 214 days, coming up on about two years. Um, so yeah, down here, I think I showed you guys the standard and the, the features. And down here, you'll have a, whole list of other types of information that this will give you. Um, the great thing about this is when you're on, you know, whatever drive you're looking at, this will tell you its current health status. If you click on that, it gives a little bit more information and you can also change the drives from here, but we're going to stay on C and it will also give you your current temperature. Now this is all pulled like the status here is actually pulled from the smart feature. Um, so yeah, if we go on to my first backup drive, um, as you can see, it's running a little bit cooler because it is a mechanical drive. It is not a solid state, um, and it's telling my, my health status is good. Now, these drives are a little bit older, and that's about accurate. I've had these for about five years. I bought both of them at the same time, but as you can see, they're still in good state, good temperature, no big errors down here. And if we go to the next one, it's pretty much the same. Giving you your temperature and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, guys, it's just a really cool little tool. Now that I've shown you this part of it, I'll just go into some of the uh, options up here. So this is kind of cool. If, say, you're, for instance, you're examining this C drive and you're doing it for a friend and he's concerned if there's you know, issues on the drive or he thinks it's about to die, um, you can actually go in here and go file and we're going to, you can save it as a text file to show him all of this, or you can save it as an image. For this demonstration, I'll just do image. We'll just click image. Um, I'm going to put it on the desktop. You can change the name. I'm just going to leave it at that and save it. And now you can email him and say, hey, um, I examined your drive and look at this. You are looking good. And you can kind of point this stuff out to them. So it's just a neat little way to save the output of what you're seeing here. Um, edit really nothing good under here or not good to me. Nothing useful for me. Uh, you go to function. You can do different things here. You can see a, a graph of the drive that you're on. Uh, you can rescan. Um, to see if it gives you different information. Uh, you can hide your serial number if you're the kind of person that uh, gets worried about that. And it's just uh, a lot of cool different things in here. And this is what I was talking about earlier, uh, alert features. So say, for instance, you are worried about this drive overheating. You can actually go into here, set an alert email. 
Uh, you'll have to set up your mail settings, of course, uh, but you can set an alert email to actually email you if the drive gets to a certain temperature, which is kind of cool. Um, and then under theme, you can do different things like you can change it to green mode, you know, whatever suits you. You can go dark, which is kind of cool. Not something that I would generally use. Um, and then, of course, disk. You can actually choose the disks from here, which I always just do it from here just because it's quicker and it gives you a quick glimpse at your temperature as well. And then your different help stuff. And then you can even go into language and choose language to suit you. So anyway, guys, I thought I'd show you this because it is a really cool little tool to uh, kind of keep an eye on your drives. I, I think that um, it's important to keep an eye on your drives. Uh, you don't want to be losing any data. And if you got in here and, you know, something like this said, hey, uh, this is not good. You're at about 10%. Your health on this drive is terrible. Uh, then you can grab that data off there, back it up and replace that drive. So this kind of gives you a warning before any of that happens. But anyway, guys, that is all I had for you today. I hope that this helped you out in some way. If so, please give me a like. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so for future content. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.